further. So this is going to be R1. This is going to be R2. Okay. We have to uh, calculate the electric field between the two uh, cylinders. Right, so we're going to do a C is equal to a Q over delta V. Again, absolute value of uh, this one is the outer one. Uh, two, this is, uh, let's see. Yeah, so this is number two, and then this is uh, number one. So V2 minus V1 minus the integral one to two, E dotted into dr. And then the electric field between uh, the two cylinders is what? Uh, we, we did that in chapter 24. The electric field of a cylindrical capacitor is lambda over 2 pi E0 R, right? Or it's another way to say it is um, Two k lambda over r. The electric field of a cylinder. That's if the if we are close to the cylinder or if the cylinder is large enough that we don't worry about the ends of the cylinder. Right. So I could take this and then integrate it. It's going to be a natural log function. So uh, negative 2k. Lambda is going to be the its charge divided by its length. And then it's going to be ln, right? ln of uh, r2 over r1. Absolute value of that. So we just uh, drop the negative sign, the can of Q cancel, and it's going to equal lambda uh, L over uh, 2K, LN of R2 over R1. <clears throat> and uh, we could also write the K as 1 over 4 pi E0. Take it up there. You're going to have 2 pi E0 L divided by uh, LN of R2 over R1. So either of these two versions are OK. OK, now let's see the behavior of the cylindrical capacitor. As R2 goes to R1, What's the limit of the capacitor? OK. As R2 goes to R1, the capacitance is going to equal what? Well, as R2 goes to R1, this one approaches 1. Ln of 1 is what? 0. And then uh, this is approaches infinity. So same thing approaches infinity. How about as R2 goes to infinity, as R2 goes to infinity, well, this one ln of infinity is uh, pretty much just infinity. There is no other R2 up here. So this becomes infinity, and then uh, capacitance reaches 0. So the cylindrical capacitor is similar to the parallel plate in that it doesn't retain its uh, electric field. So it, its graph would look like this. As the capacitor, as R2 approaches R1, capacitance reaches infinity, then it goes to zero. So as R2 goes to infinity, the capacitance of the cylindrical capacitor reaches zero. OK, and again, we can look at the electric field distribution of a cylinder, what happens to the cylinder as the two go apart?
as the two go, get farther apart, it begins to look thinner and thinner, right? And uh, it looks bigger this way. So what does the electric field distribution look like? Well, actually, it's, it'll look more like this, sorry. It'll look, uh, since this is uh, uh, positive, this is negative, it actually begins to look like two point charges, right? Imagine if they're infinitely farther apart. This is gonna look like this. This one's gonna look like this. So it's a positive and negative. So again, it's gonna look like this. Same idea as with the parallel plate, right? When they're farther apart, the electric field diverges. It loses its uh, potential for creating uh, energy, for storing energy. It's not as concentrated, okay? So there you have it. The capacitance reaches zero, okay? Okay.